Minecraft's oceans are typically pretty bland places without much to do or see. I mean, sure, you may find a ravine or two with some diamonds down in the depths, but overall, these places are devoid of any life or challenges. That is, until today. That's right, today I was joined by my friend Kyunchi Ho, and we were tasked to survive for 24 whole hours in a hardcore ocean-only world. Normally, that would be pretty challenging on its own without any resources to work with, but we kind of made things a bit worse by adding all sorts of enemies that want to kill us like maybe this guy or pirates did i mention there were pirates because there's a lot of pirates throughout these next 24 hours we will take everything this world can give us from its cold dead hands and give ourselves the utopia that us gamers truly deserve this is 24 hours hardcore modded ocean all right i am joined by my friend ho here this beautiful god gamer and uh here we are in the ocean only world it's been a while since i've been in one of these and we got a couple of ships around us we got that thing which has tnt on it that's cool and we got this sailboat which looks a lot more friendly all right gamer let's try to get our way over there there's a couple right. of Ooh, let's get some food wait there's sea wait how do we not drown here Okay, I got rotten yeah. flesh. I got paper. We gotta go up. Gotta go up. Gotta go up. I got apples. I got apples. Let's go. Oh, uh, no. Okay, that's too risky for Ow. now. We don't have doors. We need doors. Uh, pain? There's a scuba guy. Oh, you. hey, buddy. Can I have your... <laughs> if you give me your scuba gear, that'd be so cool. He has a lot of health. This might take a minute. Fight back. Fight back. Stop running. It only makes the chase better. I'm just gonna hit him near the ship. Yeah, let's push him to the ship. Let's let's beat beat this guy on the way over. This this sucks. If he doesn't drop anything, imagine, dude. All right, buddy. My yeah, are really suffocate. Terrible. Yeah. Oh, he dropped it. Oh, you. He dropped it. Yo. Oh, it's almost broken. It's got five nah. durability. Oh man, we just wasted our time. Oh, there's a trap door. It lets us up. Oh, Pentacles. Sure. Oh. Okay, we got one iron, one gold. One emerald, one of each, apparently. We got pumpkin Ooh. seeds and beetroot Yo, pumpkins? seeds. Yo, pumpkins? Give six bread, so let's split that. Three for you, three for me. We also got six cod we can, or salmon we can cook. Okay, um, I'm gonna check out the fish rack. I'll be right back. I'm gonna harvest the wood from this boat. This is our, this is our source of wood because we don't have any wood at all. Oh, we also got, we have, we can make beds. We have wool. Oh. Nothing is like, what is this? What? Hmm? There's like a thing right here. <laughs> I don't know what this is. Dude, it's already nighttime. Okay, I got torches so we can light this boat up so nothing spawns here. It's an ocean only world, so it's going to be extra dangerous when it comes to mob spawning places. I'm going to put something in here as well. Actually, let's make in here our bedroom. You want to like cozy up with some beds in here? Ooh, it's already broken anyway, so let's go. This is our ship now. All right, did you make a crafting bench? Yeah, right here. Nice. Hey, you put your Minecraft bed next to mine? Hey, yo, hey, yo. You want to turn off the lights? I don't think I do. I'm kind of scared of the dark. I don't know about you. Okay, so the scuba helmet is worthless, unfortunately. It's going to break the second I put it on. I really want to go oh. down there. I'm going to eat some rotten flesh. Look, there's like a couple of like... Those mer... There's, they're everywhere. Look. Just seeing the glowing eyes piercing at you. Hey, I like it. At least they're friendly. <laughs> we, we can trade lots of resources from these guys. And we can, more True. importantly, um, <clears throat> borrow lots of resources from these guys. Okay, I'm going to go to the shipwreck. I don't know if you want to come or not. I can um, make doors for us. Do you mind just want to sleep first? or? It's probably a good idea because uh, Drown can spawn at night in dark water. Yeah. We got to be kind of careful on how we spend our wood, too, because we don't have saplings. So... Not true. Whatever we have is like what we have. I'm also going to make a pickaxe for a big brain play of getting some stone while we're down there. Uh, do you mind just have any more sticks? Sticks? Yeah. All I have is 10. Sorry. Ah, oh, shoot. What do you, how many do you need? Uh, just only two. Okay. I expect to be paid back three sticks in the future. Because interest. Let's go to sleep. Sleepies. Sleep. Sleepies. Sleepies. We be very hey, careful how you doing? down here. If we get attacked by a trident guy, it's mm -hmm. death. We oh. are dead. Ooh, there's scary audio down here. 
We can fight fish manually. That's a sentence that I said. There's a door by the ship, right? <laughs> Stop pushing me out of- You're gonna drown me. <laughs> I'm gonna drown too, sir. Oh, there's real wood down here. There's yeah, even more wood. that's what I was talking about. Hell oh. yeah. That's what I was creating I'm the axe. This. Um, empty map, compass, paper, and feathers. Ooh, okay. Oh, we have a, we have a friend. What is he dying by? Hey, give me a sec. I need air. How is he dying? Oh, he dropped copper. I'm gonna grab his copper. Okay. I guess you collect wood if you want. I'm gonna yep. dig further down and try to get some... Get us some stone. Yo, this is pro gaming right now. I have the experience of previously doing an ocean-only world, so I know what we need. Perfect. I'm thinking we could make like a mine shaft that goes down mm -hmm. to start mining for resources. However, there's a couple of like negatives to that. One, mm. we would need a lot of like wood to make uh, ladders. Mm. And then two, there's a lot of dangerous mobs under underground because I we don't have imagine. armor yet. I did. I got a piece of armor. I got a leather tunic with projectile protection four. If I get hit by a trident, I might survive more than you. I really want to talk about the Jellyfish Fields mod that we couldn't put in here. I tried to put this mod that would give us Jellyfish Fields from Spongebob underwater, but it was not updated for, like, ages. Ah. Uh. Oh, dude, there's 12 golden carrots in here. Wait, 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 what? Also, 12? if you uh, have magma blocks, you can use them for air. I don't know if you know that. You can crouch on them underwater so you don't take damage. Ooh, okay. I also got a flint and steel and a fortune three shovel. There's a cave system over here, but I feel like I'm kind of pushing my luck by... Please don't go there. Even being... There is exposed iron, so... And gold. Ooh. And creepers. Oh. I'm gonna not do that. I'm going to this nearby village thing mm -hmm. underwater, because I, I want to steal from these guys. I feel like it's my it's my duty as a human to steal from non-humans. I'll say it like that. <laughs> These guys are kind of just chilling. They're really cool looking with shaders. Well, there's books. They have a library. Okay, piercing three. Protection three. Ooh. Okay, I'm going to make a crafting bench. Pop that down here. I'm going to make a stone axe so that way I can... Ooh, I can make more iron. I can make... I'm not going to use the iron yet. I'm going to use my stone okay. axe to steal all their knowledge. At this point, we were only in this world for just a day and a half, and we were getting immense resources. We found these nearby mermen underwater that had so many things for us to <clears throat> borrow, and we were also getting shipwrecks and other random loot chests along the way. After filling up my inventory the first time in the mermen's abode, I swam back to the ship to dump all my loot before heading back to borrow even more loot. And while I was doing this, my friend Ho was busy at work tearing apart that shipwreck, collecting the remaining bits of wood for us to use. Uh, good news, I got an extra stone axe if you need it, and a mending uh, fishing rod. Oh, the mending rod is a good keep. We should definitely keep that. All right. All right, I did not finish stealing. I mean, sorry, borrowing their stuff down here yet. Oh, I left some, I left some wood shelves. Man, you guys can't have knowledge. Then you might uprise and take over the world. Oh, dude, there's like a ton of blast furnaces down here. Ooh. Blast furnaces are so hard to make. Oh, <laughs> there's nine obsidian, an nine. iron sword, an iron pickaxe, and I now have 14 iron ingots. What? What? Dude. Okay, I'm also going to take these blast furnaces, which the plural of is furni. We need to get armor. We need to become safer. Because, like I said, if we do start getting smacked by stuff, it's gonna hurt. Alright, next area. Do you guys got any more stuff for me to have? For free? There's a regular furnace. You know what? And a smoker. You know what? I'm going shopping today, dude. This is all mine. Pain? Um, we are good on wood for a long time, man. Let's go. So I've got a furnace, blast furnaces, and a smoker. <laughs> I took... <laughs> we, we can cook anything we want now. <laughs> oh, it purple. is nighttime. No. What? Are you the purple icon on the map? You just assume my color. Dude, these things, these guys are kind of There's everywhere. everywhere. Right? It's nice. Yo. Is there more stuff for me to have in here? Careful, there should be a monument next to you, too. I'm sorry, what? A monument? Oh, I see it. There. Oh, man. Uh-oh. Yeah. Uh, do you think we need barrels or no? I mean, storage is storage because we don't want to, like, 
we want to save wood right now. You know what I mean? Okay, perfect. We don't uh, have well. access to a lot of wood. <gasps> oh, I found a big mining thing. There's like a bunch of... Oh, it's like lapis and iron and stuff. And there's two chests. We got melon seeds. I got nice. nine lapis. Some railroads. I'll take them. We got glowberries, which are one of the most useless foods in existence. Good news, good news. We got wheat. Wait, we got seeds? Yep, we got seeds. Dude, that is goaded with the sauce. Okay. I am going to collect oh. all these ores right here. And then... I got three water buckets, too. We're good. Nice. So I'm collecting this coal and stuff so we can, like, mine. Or, okay. like, cook stuff. And then I'm also getting some little bits of iron here and there. Like, iron ore. Okay. Um, We're pretty good. What about this? Oh, there's diamonds! Ooh. And I have... There's a diamond ore, and I have a iron pickaxe ready. Ow! Oh! Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, no! 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 Trident boy with scuba gear. I'm going to bed. I push my luck. Going back to the ship. Okay, so we got another chest. I'm I'm glad you decided to block off the only entrance to the beds. <laughs> it's, great. it's great, man. Good, good on you. This this ship is gonna be a mess, but that's okay. Who needs a nice ship? Oh! Honestly. The guy found us. He found us. Oh wait, what? He found us! He oh, found God. us! No! No! He did two and a half hearts, man! Oh! Ouch! I want his trident, though! Wait, do we- we don't have arrows. Wait, do you Wait, just want a fire protection helmet? I wanna make a shield, hold up. I'm gonna take a risk here. <laughs> it's okay, I got this, it's okay. Where is he? He's taking damage. He's right underneath us right now. Where? Like, under the boat. Yep, right there. Can you stop? Get closer. Yeah, 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 suffocate. I'm gonna Yeah, he killed himself! I was gonna place these here. I was gonna place- we have like a blast furnace. We got a regular furnace. We got a smoker. We can cook stuff now. Alright, now that I- got, Now that we got rid of the trident guy, I wanna go back- Alright, are there any other ship- Actually, I'm gonna go back to where I was. Yo, I got a sapling. We're good. Sapling? Yeah, two saplings. From so what? chest or barrels underwater dude tnt gunpowder coal i've never seen saplings in the chest before what <laughs> we are being chilling man <laughs> yo we got bamboo too dude what <laughs> you know how long yo. it took me to get saplings in regular vanilla after the sun came back up we spent the next day looting more of the areas around us for some easy resources and I may not have found much at first, but Ho was on fire. This man found both bamboo and saplings inside of chests. So we now had access to infinite stick farm and trees. Honestly, this world was going by way, way faster than any of my previous ocean worlds have ever. I also got another Ooh. iron sword if you want one. And we have eight yes, more please. obsidian. Dude, we can go to the nether. Please, no. <laughs> yes! Can, can I get oxygen, please? Can you... We, I need to get, like... Aw, oh, man. We need a way to breathe underwater. Yeah, inside this we chest, I found a mending book. And... Gunpowder. Name tag. Ooh, bones. Bone meal. Alright, time for redemption. I have another one of these scuba guys. And the... He's... I'm gonna get killed by him because I'm drowning because his hitbox sucks. That's scary. They're not very smart. Their hitboxes are so bad. We need to get like a bow and arrow or something or like a trident. We get an actual good trident, dude. Okay, I got him, finally. And he dropped me nothing. Aww. Did hear a really scary noise in the background though, so that's a plus. Real quick, if you haven't yet heard, this is actually my second YouTube channel. My main channel was unfairly demonetized by AdSense, so I was forced to essentially start over here. If you are new or a returning viewer from the old channel and you are enjoying the content, please don't forget to subscribe and maybe drop a like to help out in the algorithm. With your help, I'm confident we can come back stronger than ever and even surpass the 480,000 subscribers that I have on the main channel. Anyways. Let's get back to our 
2. At this point, it was now day 2, and after looting a bunch of resources, I decided to swim down underneath the ship and kind of try to get a mine going. And while I was down here digging, I had also realized that because we were in a deep ocean world, we were probably going to struggle to find dirt. In regular ocean worlds, dirt is really common, so you could easily make large farm grounds. But here, it was all just sand and stone. Meaning, we were probably going to have to get dirt the hard way. I just found a cave system, like, right underneath Ooh. us. Wait, what? Underneath? Yeah. Like, directly? I'm really hoping Yo. not to run into mobs. Oh, okay, there's iron here. Ooh, I found iron and copper. I'll Ooh. mine some of the copper, but for the most part, copper is kind of... Okay, there are mobs Yo. down there. Yee. Okay, we really got to be safe, and we got to stop going out and being so ballsy. We got to find full sets of iron. That's what we need. Oh, okay, that's cool. I that, that. So I'm mining more iron. I'm gonna take it back, and we're gonna cook ourselves, cook ourselves some armor. I mean, you need to work on a farm. Like I'm close by the ship right now. If you can find me, I'm I'm on the ship, like our ship. No, if that's oh. what you mean. I'm gonna. Oh, cook. this is a different ship. Oh shoot. Okay. We found that's a why. new one. Okay, I'm gonna cook all of this iron that we have. I've got 14 iron, and I'm cooking 14 more. So I want to keep my leather tunic, but because it's got projectile protection on it, but like. Iron armor is so much better. Oh, you know what we should do? Weed. Uh, where'd you... Can you put the dirt in this chest so I can have some? All right. Screw it. <laughs> Let's see if they grow. We'll come back and they'll they'll be grown, hopefully. I'll put one like here. There's no way some of these are going to grow, dude. They're in such weird spots with stuff blocking them. No, there's no <laughs> way. It's not even, not even worth putting that there. <laughs> There's nowhere to put the trees, man. There we go. There we go. Look at that. <laughs> Optimal tree location. So as the sun went down, we went to sleep in our beds, cuddled up next to each other like any real homies would, and waited until the next day. Alrighty. Oh. Put your boat next to mine. So which way are we going? Okay. Um. Just follow me in this. What? Is that a fish? Oh, free fish. Some. Wait. Wait. What that's is... jellyfish too. What is Wait, killing what? the? We don't really need a jellyfish that much, but. Something might be killing them. Perfect. No, maybe, maybe perfect. Maybe bad. <gasps> oh my god, there's a yellow axolotl! Do axolotls kill fish? No. No. Oh, there's tons I, of I, iron down here. Wait. Wait. That's the blue. Wait. Get a bucket. Get a bucket. Get a bucket. I think this is the rare one. I say this like every video and people always call me on it, but I'm pretty sure this is the rare axolotl. Yes! I think that's the blue one. I'm pretty sure that's a blue axolotl. Let me know in the comments. You're going to do it anyways. I know you're going to do it. Dude, there's so much iron down here. I have to stop for this. There's also a cave nearby. I hear it. Uh, after I grab this iron, we can go get some more of the dirt. Oh, it's a mossy cave. I just found it. I might regret doing this. Kind of crazy how there's already deep slate here. I know these worlds have a much lower area. We're playing in 1.16 right now because this would not work in 1.18. All right, I came out of this with 30 iron ore. That's hype. Yo, what? ADHD moment over. Let's go. No worries. Yo, you want to see my axolotl? Hey, yo! <laughs> Why does he move every time you sit in the boat? You don't have legs. I don't have legs. No, there, there are no legs inside of your boat. Cool thing is once we get gravel, like if we go to the nether especially, and we can get a. Uh, we can make infinite dirt. It sucks to do though. It's a slow, grueling process. Oh yes. Oh, you're in yeah, here. I, I hear see you. what I mean. Yeah. Infinite dirt glitch. Okay. After mostly eviscerating this area, I've already got. I got two stacks and forty of dirt. I'm gonna explore this ravine now that I've gotten some of that. There okay. could be a lot of, like, we can get diamonds down here. There's tons of, wow, there's tons of fish that got sucked down here that are dead. <laughs> ah! Perfect. Ah! Go away. Go away. Get away from me. I the guy gave me a heart attack. It is a single diamond. I found a one diamond, man. Oh, it's not worth it. You know, I want to I want to tell this funny story while I'm mine. Story time. We're going to do a story time <laughs> segment. 
Let me know in the comments if you like this story. We're, we're gonna do story time while I'm just doing a regular ravine mine. So, when I said Fresh Never Frozen, that is a reference to Wendy's, which I don't know if you've ever been to Wendy's. It's okay food, nothing... Oh, this cave is huge. Oh, there's a there's skulk sensors down here. Get me out of here. Get me out of here. I got shot by an Wait, arrow and there's skulk sensors. There's gonna be a warden. I'm out of there. Back to the story. <laughs> so I used to work at Wendy's and it was it was a terrible job. Like Wendy, Wendy's is not a great job. Let's be honest. It's fast food. It sucks. How do I even explain it, man? So I used to work next to an Arby's, right? And a lot of people say Arby's is bad. Arby's is not that bad. Their food's pretty decent. It's like nothing special, but it's not like bad. People are hating on arby's unfairly but there was this person who i don't know if they really disliked arby's themselves but there was somebody who tried to park a car in the arby's parking lot and while doing that oh this is a skeleton i thought this is you my bad oh. there was someone who tried to park their car in the arby's parking lot and instead of parking it they stepped on the gas in the parking spot and they drove through the, the dining room of the arby's they drove into the arby's Oh, and I was like looking at this from the drive through of Wendy's and I'm like, wow, that's crazy. And it actually like broke everything broke down. Like at that point, everyone was like, whoa. And I remember my friend who used to work with me. She jumped out of the Wendy's window in the drive through to run over to see if they were OK. And I was just like, dude, what is going on? And at that point, collectively, both stores just broke down and no one was doing anything because all the customers were like, whoa. I too just drove through the Arby's. We, we went on through the rest of the night after the cops and ambulance and all that had came. Somebody else in our drive through drove. They tried to drive around to get out of the drive through because they were mad for some reason. And while doing that, they literally drove directly over the water line, bursting the water line. And it started spewing water like ob obnoxious amounts, like knock you on the ground water all over the parking lot and it was like flooding and we lost all water at at our like wendy's so in the same night somebody drove into the arby's and drove over the water line someone should revoke their license okay no most people that drive in america should not be driving they're really bad yeah. drivers you have any wood i don't have any more oh no, no no i'm dumb never mind hmm. i have to make you a bed what you can't make your own bed okay I was wondering. Um, can't make yeah, your own I mean, bed? What are you, defunctional? Bed. You can't make a bed? You don't want to sleep in a bed? I sleep on the ground, sir. Same. Ground's so much more comfortable than beds. Beds are overrated, you know? True. They don't have beds in prison, which I wouldn't know. So you've looted everything in this area? Yeah, pretty much. Aw, oh, man. I mean, actually, no. Uh, To our left, those are untouched. To our right, those are touched. Okay, let's go loot this before we go back. I can't place this! I can't place a door! Some of these are built with slabs, man. <coughs> okay. I got I got some bread and some rotten flesh. Great. Fantastic. So far, we are coming to the near end of hour two, and we had already made tremendous progress. During this time, my friend Ho grabbed as many resources as he could and booked it on the way back home so we could begin working on our base. And while he did that, I kept looting a couple of the areas near the ocean monument, getting more and more close to the danger until I no longer felt comfortable and my inventory was full. So I also joined him in heading back home. By the time we were both back home, we had so much more dank loot to dump into our chests and we were ready to begin building our farms. Why do you have water sources up there? <laughs> Why do you hate nice looking things? Um, I thought it need some light decoration. Dude, the trees actually grew like this. That's kind of funny. That <laughs> tree right there is the dumbest thing I have seen. It fit in so perfectly. All right, do we have the tree mod? No. Dude, why did you put the water here? You absolute menace. <laughs> You're welcome. Thanks for nothing. No, my dirt. <laughs> okay, uh... So we need to start expanding and turning this into no longer a boat. This is not going to be a boat. We need an island. 
Okay. So we do need dirt, but we also need stone. So I'm thinking this is going to be the floor level of our island because I want our island to be higher than the actual water. So we have like hmm. lower levels around the edges that look nice. Now that we had gotten back home and we had an ample supply of dirt, the next day we began by placing the dirt around the side of the ship. The goal by the end of this video was to turn this ship into a full island with a house, some cool animal farms. We could have lots of farmland, including crops for wheat, carrots, potatoes, etc. And just overall a nice, large, beautiful, lush area that we could use to live and call home. As the sun began to set, I began planting different types of crops around the area so that way we could start harvesting. I planted two rows of melons at the end of the dirt, then I planted two rows of pumpkins, followed by a field of what little wheat seeds that we had, and then a growing field of carrots. And while I was planting these, I kept going back over to the bamboo to break down what was growing so I could spread that as well so we could also have a new source of sticks and scaffolding. While I was over here on my farmer arc, Ho was out exploring the oceans yet again in search of dirt. After setting up all of the farming area, it was now hour four and per typical Florida fashion, my power went out. I had recorded an entire hour and it was just gone because the power went out midway through. So I can't show you what happening in real time, but at least we can go back and see them. The first thing we did during this hour was continue to expand our farms. So that way they were all fenced in and looking a lot nicer. And we created the most amazing thing in this mod pack. We gave birth to these tiny little golem dudes that harvest the crops for you. That's right. They cost one hay bale and a pumpkin and they'll harvest the crops for seven days until they cease to exist. They're like me seeks. Their one purpose in life is to harvest our crops. So now that we had a bunch of these guys all doing that, getting us crops fully automatically, we set back out to get dirt and we explored the ocean even more. And this is when I saw something on the map that was fantastic. We had discovered the stronghold. And this is actually right when the power went out. But this stronghold is Young's better stronghold, which is massive. And because we were underwater, it was full of mobs and dangerous. Hey, yo, okay. I'm also gonna take, uh, I think it's finally time that I take this iron. No, <coughs> dude, there's so much stuff in here. There's too okay, much I'm stuff. Over. I can't, I can't not take it. There's like, there's so much iron stuff. Dude, this place is going to be full of it. We're not going to have enough inventory space. Oh boy. That could be really, really bad. Okay, no other, no other silverfish saw them. Good, good, good. Yeah, I don't want to go down there yet because there was this loot room. Where was it? Oh, is this one? There's many of them. There's a whole bunch. Oh. Dude, these are gonna be oh, look at this. We got iron, bread, coal. Efficiency four, not bad. Wait, just a book? Yeah. Ooh, that is really good. <gasps> okay, okay, don't go in there. Oh, here's the loot room. I got broken by all of this. Yes, more gold. Ooh, golden lapis. Yes, please. More lapis. If we can get, dude, if we can get enough ender pearls here, we might be able to make a waystone. Dude, this is such a mess though. It's hard to mine this stuff like this. Now that we had found the stronghold, there was so much loot to be had. We were down here for literal days, gathering as many things as we possibly could and stuffing them into our very full inventories and then our very full ship. By the time we came out of here, we had loads of iron, emeralds, gold, and even diamonds. We were living like kings. However, before we could leave, there was still one more thing that we needed to do and that was find the end portal. Oh, I found it. Already? Yeah, I knew it was this one. Nice. And it's got exactly, drum roll, zero. Zero again? It's got zero, and it's got zero eyes of ender. We got our little guys here, and apparently they, when they start to die, there's like flies and stuff. They change color, their eyes get droopy, it's kind of like sad. Okay, um, so now that we're back here, we, we got a lot of our stuff smelting. We have tons of resources. Like this chest full of stuff, tons of iron, lots of coal. Like we've got 
crazy amounts of resources. We've also got diamond armor, like half diamond armor each, which is goaded. Mm -hmm. But we need to get our island going. We need to make an area for mobs to spawn. We need to make an area for our mine shaft, which means we have to dig down and use blocks around it. During this day, I began digging straight down, making our mine shaft to get the optimal location to mass farm for cobblestone, stone, deep slate, and then of course, diamondes. Because if we can come out of here with even more loot, that would be ideal. While I was down here working away at the cave, my friend Ho decided to go back out in search of more dirt. Because still, we desperately were in need of dirt. Not to mention, he also wanted to loot a lot of the barrels nearby because there's just a lot of good things inside of them. Honestly, he's just like me, a true loot goblin. Ooh, it's like, wow, that's perfect. I went straight into a lava area and there's like a huge vein of diamonds. Is this a... Ooh. Oh, this can be dangerous. No? No creepers? Come on, man. Come on. Come on down. Yeah, look, 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 look. Look, there's land. Yeah. Um, why is my thing not working? The f What? The, the server always lags when yeah. creepers go off, dude. Every time. I switch. I hit the F key to switch my shield, and it didn't go into mm -hmm. my offhand, so I started building up because I panicked. I think okay. I'm going to build an, uh, another portal so we can go to the nether and okay. figure out from there. I don't know where yeah, I want to put it, though. I want to put it somewhere where it's not going to be in the way of future building, but realistically, that's probably not a thing. So you know what? I'm going to put it over here. All right. I'm building the nether portal. So one, awesome. two, three... Pop one of these here. Maybe if we're lucky, we can go through and get the nether. If we go straight and get another fortress, we are... What just hit me? Is that a trident? <coughs> or was that server lag with fall damage? What? I don't understand what's going on here anymore, man. Okay, flint and steel. Um, All right, man. I'm going to go through the nether. I don't... Wish you luck, man. If it's terrible, I'm immediately leaving. Understandable. And just look at that. <coughs> For the first time in a long time, I found a nether fortress... The second we went in to the nether. So now all I had to do was wait for my friend to come back from his long trip with dirt and other loot. And we were good to explore the nether fortress, get us some nether wart and blaze rods, and make us some eyes of ender after we kill some endermen. We were moving up in the world. At this point, it was now hour six and we had come back from the nether. And we were just kind of walking around our boat thinking about what to do next. We wanted to go to the nether fortress, but it was very dangerously placed all the way across a warped forest biome and a sea of lava. And with our current armor, we weren't really feeling the likelihood of surviving over there. So instead, we decided to continue working on our base. However, that brought us back to the first problem that we had, which was dirt. We sat here for a little bit, thinking of alternate ways to find dirt efficiently until finally we had come to a conclusion. So we couldn't yeah. find dirt in the ocean very efficiently. It was taking a while. So I was thinking, you know, where else could we get it? We can go to the nether, which sucks, and find gravel. There wasn't much gravel in there. It's kind of give or take. It's like hit or miss. So the nether is not a good opportunity. And plus, we would have to constantly craft and then till soil and then until it, which would suck. So we were looking through the different mods that we had. And we we're looking through like different stuff. And that's what I remembered the Twilight Forest. And you may be wondering, why can you go to the Twilight Forest in an ocean-only world? It's because I made the mod pack, baby. <laughs> so we can go to the Twilight Forest. We're probably not going to do much there because it's not very oceany. But there's one thing about the Twilight Forest that is very helpful for us. Do you know what that is, Ho? Um, Dirt. So you don't need to... Oh, shoot, okay. Dirt. All right, I guess let's go loot some stuff. I mean, I should probably let's dump Let's get some flowers. Stuff. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Get on the boat. I'm on the boat. Uh, let's go this way. Ah! I found okay? dirt. I found dirt. And I went to put nice. a door down, and I panicked because the sand broke the, do the door. Sand oh. fell and broke the door. And I... Stop being able to use English after that because it scared me. <laughs> I found coal you're good, you're and good. garbage. I found dirt though. Um, it's not a lot of dirt, but it is dirt. 
I guess I shouldn't be even bothering for going to the Twilight Forest, right? Yeah. Ah! I mean, it's a good marker to place down. Ooh, a horse armor. I need help. I need help. Why was up? Oh you? no. Oh no. Oh boy. I'm using my door as cover from this trident guy. Um, where are you on the map? I got it. I think I got it. I'll be fine. <coughs> okay. The door is good cover, actually. Ah, I got him. Jerk. Nice. Nice, nice. We're gonna go over this other merman area. And we're gonna go harass them. Or as I like to say, we're gonna allocate their resources. Alright, I'm going for this chest over here. Okay. What we got going on here? Ooh, double chest room. I will take it. So I keep finding rooms that have like the wood chests, but there's mm -hmm. we're not finding any flowers. I don't know what our likelihood is to even find flowers. I think you can find them um, in shipwrecks. Usually I've been leaving flowers behind because of, I didn't oh, think we would man, need it. Oh my guy. Yeah. I know you wouldn't be able to, like, why else would you think about it, but no. So, after those couple of structures didn't have any flowers, we continued to scour the oceans, looking for shipwrecks, sea villages, and any other structures that could possibly give us flowers. And we were not really having any luck. We did get a bunch of other random resources, but no flowers. After all this ocean exploring, we finally had stumbled across a real pirate ship floating above the water, full of enemies. We were thinking, maybe this thing could have flowers on it. Oh look, there's villagers underneath it. Alright guys, you ready? You ready to take us on? The <laughs> lag is... Oh, okay, okay, lag, cool. Cool. Oh, we got... Okay, the sword boy is in the water. He's, um... He's fast. Not exactly the smartest. He's spinning. Let's go. Undead sailor. He, he's just going down. He's not. He doesn't even know how to swim. Oh, watch out above you. There's they, another. Got uh, arrows. No, no. Uh, I'm talking about like that zombie with a uh, fishing rod. They can't attack. Okay. They can't use fishing rods. Yeah. Oh, there's another okay. one of these ships in the distance. That one looks. It doesn't have like webs on it. So that one might have an evoker on it. Oh. This one does not have an evoker, which is the only reason we're taking it on. Oh. Roger that. Ah, jerk. Oh, undead captain. He's after what me. Is he? He's he's got double axes. Oh my god, yo. Come out. Come off the ship. Come off the ship. I don't know how much oh. damage he would do. Oh, he's dead. Oh, he's apparently no dead. damage. Huh. And in here is just a couple of spiders. Ooh, let's get rid of the cave spider. Ooh. Uh, instant damage? Oh, there's two diamonds in here. Hey! Ooh. And some emeralds and some gold and a new iron pickaxe that I will take. So is there, there is that other ship. Can I see what enemies are on it? Oh, I don't see them on the map. If we get a little closer, we might be able to. Or if I maybe if I go down. If this is a villager ship, this would it's be not amazing. A villager ship. Oh, wait, it is. Wait, it, okay. It's got iron golems and villagers on it. But it might be a trap. Oh. If it turns into a witch ship, I'm gonna cry. This is a real village. We have to protect yep, them okay. by all costs. Okay, what does this yep. guy have? Ooh, emerald for fireworks. I might trade that now. Okay, we got emeralds. Respiration 2. I need that desperately. Look at the C3. He can sell us god apples. Oh, Four shoot. Four emeralds? Seriously? Is this a potion of water breathing? Okay, these guys are very important. We need to keep them alive. Is, Do you want fireworks well right lit. now? I was tempted to buy some, but I'm gonna wait a second. Oh shoot. Um Okay, never mind. How many did you at least get? Um I got 42. Ooh, that's like a oh, wow. That's not bad. 60 Ready? for a trident. Potion of luck. Man, no way to get flowers. This place is very important. I'm gonna make a waypoint for it. And we can always come back and put a mm. waystone here. We're gonna go look at this mm -hmm. ship and then. I guess head back towards home and try to figure something else out. I don't think flowers can spawn here, but... Ooh. No flowers, though. Where do we find those other flowers? I don't even remember. Okay. This, this is, these are the kind of places where it would be. It'd be in these barrels. Yeah. Just like carrots and gunpowder and stuff. 
<gasps> Yellow flower. Okay. Nice. Progress. Can you take that raw salmon in there? Another yellow flower. Raw awesome. salmon? Uh, yellow flowers might also... Yellow and red flowers! Where? Oh. Uh, nothing in there. Nothing in there. I... Okay, so I now have three yellow... Or sorry, three red and four yellow total. Uh, we need nine total. I think it can be both of them. So we've... You know, we're almost there. If we find one more of these structures... That's where we find them. So things were looking up for us. We had now found villagers and more importantly, apparently, we found the exact kind of structure with barrels that spawns flowers. I now had seven flowers out of the nine that we needed to make the portal to go to the Twilight Forest. We were that much closer to really getting tons of dirt to finally work on our island. Is that another stronghold? Oh, we did just find another stronghold. Oh my god, yo. Wow, and there's a boat next to it. This is nice. Two strongholds? And, like, I mean, I, they were, like, every, what, 2,000 blocks-ish, so it makes sense, but wow. No, it's easy to find. That's the thing I'm happy about. Ooh, this is going to be iron over here. Give me the iron barrel. Ooh, it's got two diamonds instead. Way better than iron. I didn't expect these to have this many resources in them, to be honest. I thought they were going to be like, oh, yeah, you know, a little bit of stuff yeah. here and there. Not like this much. There's also the other boat. We can go to the boat and see if there's flowers there. This might be an evoker boat. Oh, oh no. I think this is an evoker boat. Oh, this definitely is. This definitely is. See these illagers. Wait, can we see what's on the boat? Ew. I don't see an evoker. He should be the cat. Wait, no. You see him downstairs. He's downstairs. Oh, okay. I see his... Okay, I can't look because the lag. Yeah, you see that guy in the window? Mm -hmm. That's an evoker. Yep. Yeah. Oh, That's no. him. If I had a bow and arrow, I would take pop shots. I could craft one. We have string, I think. Um, I think we should uh, mark this to come back and not mess with it. Ooh, there's a double mining. There's four. Okay, lag. Cool. Love that. Please, let me get off the ship. My door just disappeared. Oh, my God. Okay, we got iron, coal. Good stuff, good stuff, good stuff. There are four of these chests down here, baby. God apple, yes, please. Got me a god apple. It's still lagging profusely. Well, we found another evoker ship at least, I guess. Or you said it was villagers? I saw villagers on there. I don't know. They, they normally have villagers trapped, so. No, no. I mean, like, they had, like, villagers that you can trade. Oh, yeah, it is a village ship. It's so laggy. It is. Oh. Nope, it's no, a trap. No, no, it's a out, trap. out, 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 out. It's a trap. It's a laggy trap. What is going on? Oh my god. Can, can, you're not we're not moving at all right now. Okay, okay. I'm we're stuck. The I... boat's going to break if we get stuck over this if you're not moving. While we were on our journey to find the coveted flowers that we needed, we continued to find loot after loot after loot. We found sunken ships, we found portals, and we kept stopping from individual merman town to merman town. And a lot of these ended up having insane loot, such as gold, diamonds, and golden apples. However, we had to keep reminding ourselves during this process to stop being distracted because we needed those flowers. A lot of purple pickle weeds is kind of cool. I mean, we don't need them, but no flowers. I'm just here for flowers because my inventory is so full. No flowers. I kind of want all the gunpowder, but I've got no inventory space. No flowers. I found flowers, two of them. We're good. Which colors? Red and yellow. One of each? Yeah, one of each. Actually, no, two reds. How did you mix up the colors of the flowers? No, no, like there was multiple flowers. That's why. So you got two reds and one yellow? Yeah, two reds, one yellow. Nice. We finally got enough flowers. <coughs> and quite the trip it was. Now that we had all of the flowers that we had come out here for, we went all the way back home, which was probably several thousand blocks. But overall, we could now get infinite dirt and begin working on our island. I have a theory. A game theory. Maybe if we take this dirt into the nether, we can like bone meal it and it'll grow flowers. If it does, that means our entire journey was for nothing besides loot, which is fine. Because we did get a lot of dank loot. No, the other one died. No. 
Yeah, no, it, it doesn't work. We, we can't make a... No. All right, back to At the At least our journey wasn't... This place is hell. So we're going to go to the Twilight Dimension. But first, before we go to the Twilight Forest, I want to make sure we have, like, the best armor we can get. And now, mm -hmm. after our trip, we've got a whopping 39 diamonds. Man, where do I want to put this portal that's not going to, like... Let's just shove it over here. It's kind of a weird spot. It is what it is. There, we'll do is we'll do like this. And then we'll make that the like the buckets. center area. We'll go like this. Ideally, this works with yellow flowers too. I think it's just any abundance of flowers. I did this in better Minecraft. Oh, is it just only four? I see one bucket right there. Yep. Right there. That's supposed to be like. Okay, There's no pattern mind. that matters. Okay. We're missing one. Wait, what? Did you miss count? Wait, you said nine, and I agreed with you. It's an even number. Oh my god. We need a 10. No. Just let me if, I throw, my own. if I throw a diamond in here, is this. Still, what if it just works? Imagine if it just like still works. Oh, yeah. Yoink. Yoink. Oh, it worked! Wait, it worked! Oh. Never mind, I don't Wait. need to say out. It actually worked. How- why- how and why? Maybe you don't need it right here and it's just the inner pieces? So, it's similar to the... Nether, nether portal? portal? Maybe. I mean, I'm gonna dump my inventory because we're gonna get tons of... Dirty. good stuff. Alright, okay, so when you are. you're good to go to the dimension. Make sure you have golden apples on you at all times. I don't know if you actually... I see I five four. in this chest. You have some on you? I have four. Okay. I'm just gonna put this so, god apple over here. Yeah, I always I try to have, have one them scary. on you. Okay. I don't know, it depends. Scary. It really <laughs> depends on where we spawn in the world. Okay. If we spawn directly next to like... A boss? Like a boss thing, <laughs> then that's, that's gonna suck. But to be fair, we can at least take the flowers back, so... E. All right. Okay. Let's Ready? go. Now is a great time for acid reflex. Oh my god, this is so much dirt. Yeah, I told you, it's a whole dimension. Oh, there's like resources here too. Ooh, there's iron here. <gasps> this is so beautiful. What? It's a really pretty dimension, man. I, dude, there's like resources here. We can mine here. There's iron. There's... Oh, we're, we're getting... Ooh, we've got dirt for days. Yeah, it's beautiful. Dude, we're gonna- our island is gonna be great. I wanna make sure that I have this portal marked, just in case. Because it's really small, you can't see it on the actual map. A dwarf rabbit is coming towards us. What is that? Watch it be, like, actually dangerous. Okay, portal is marked. And if I look at the map, actually... Ironically, yes, we are next to two different boss structures. We are sandwiched in between- actually, three! There are three of them on the map. Huh. One is the giant cobra maze. Mm. And the other two, I don't, I think that might be the sky nether fortress thing that's like a giant gas monster. It's okay though. We're only here for dirt and then we're going back to our safe, safe world. Now that we had access to the twilight forest, we had an extra abundance of wood, even though we had already gotten saplings. We had an abundance of seeds, even though we already had wheat. And most importantly, we had dirt. Enough dirt to create a kingdom. We could finally turn our dumpy little ship into a full on island. So I pulled up good old fashioned Minecraft circle generator website. And I'm thinking of making the center area a 60 by 60 circle. So this whole area is gonna turn into a big circle. And that's where we can build our base. We could tear down the ship and then we can make like rings around it with like docks on them and farmland. And it's gonna be cool. <gasps> Ooh. What's that? Those were regular sheep. What? I got mud in. Oh, wow. We. Wait. Oh, my God. I just. Hello? Um. I just realized something incredible. Don't kill the sheep in there. Dude, if you. If you can get them to the portal, 
We can bring animals out of there. Dude, we can get animals. So it was now hour nine. We were well into the beginning of our brand new life on this base. While I was trying to figure out the dimensions of a circle in a block game, my friend Ho had discovered animals. Inside of the Twilight Forest, there are sheep and possibly cows and he could use boats to pull those guys over and drag them through the portal, and we could get actual livestock in this ocean-only world. Things were looking phenomenal. Or at least they would be if I was not stuck struggling trying to make this massive circle, which I um may have spent majority of this hour doing. How's the uh, other dimension going? So I hear you got chickens. Yeah. I got some good old chickens. We're going to be frying them up. Yeah, that's style. so messed up, man. I, I was just thinking we're going to permanently keep them inside of oh. one area and they're going to like generate tons of eggs and other chickens and then they would magically unalive after a long, great lifespan. Wait, what is this? Obscure book. I can make an obscure book. Hmm. What is this? Oh, we have we have sky demons. We got sky demons. Oh, 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 go on. oh, 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 not what I expected here. Uh, so clicking this just opens the link to the, the actual web page of the mod. This book's kind of useless, so, um... Dude, I can't make okay. this up. I cannot make this up. Inside what? the last ironfish trap is a mm -hmm. book with silk touch. Oh, wait, what? Yo. Let me I see, let me guarantee see. you someone is going to oh. say, oh, you, you planted that there. I guarantee you, it is too perfect! By the time it was the end of the ninth hour, this place was ready to begin being terraformed to turn into our paradise island. Look at that! Is our chicken boat boys! Nice. E. Dude, we're, we're rocking. We got animals going. Right? We got our island going. We have, like, access to real resources now. I just need to find sheep. <laughs> you started a farm in here. It's kind of funny. So now that I have this circle done, I decided to make a 90 by 90 circle, which if we put the 60 by 60 circle, like envision it in the center, you'd have to split the difference. It'd be 15 blocks out. So I'm trying to make an outer ring around this, if that makes sense. I'm really... These lightning strikes are making me think that skeleton riders are going to spawn. So this would be centered and then 14. So this would be the center. And it's not Perfect. as bad as it looks. This is just going to be like the outer edge of the circle. So I did it this hmm. way to make it easier. So I build this circle all the way around the center one. And then this is going to be your outer layer. And then oh. I can choose another outer circle to build around it and fill this in. This will be like our landmass around our base. So this will be like... Oh my this god. Is Okay. Or I could jump in the water. Uh... I, I guess give me a second to go over here. You know what? While I'm over here, I'm gonna check on the fish traps, because these guys are goaded. This one's got Fire Protection 3 Power 4 book in it. It has got a Unbreaking 3 Power 4 Mending Flame Bow inside of it. Oh, wow. Okay. It's got, it's got lily pads in here, which I don't think we can even get otherwise, besides looting. And it's got a ton of fish, actually. Dude, this thing produces... That's crazy. That's a really good bow. We're going to use that. It's not infinity, but like... Okay, this one's got a flame bow. In a, a box. What does a box do? I'm breaking three fishing rod. Mending book. I just got an efficiency three enchanted book in this one. Dude, these are giving us like enchanted books. This is crazy. We need to Beautiful. make a ton of these. Oh, bye. Bye, dad. Bring home milk. Take care. Bring home lots of milk. We actually need to just make a ton of these. They're cheap to make, too. I wonder what the diamond ones will bring. Should I gamble and make a diamond one with our, like, only... I, sh I should do it, shouldn't I? Do it. Technically, if I put them zigzag, they're not touching, so they should still work. 
It's like a whole grid of fishing things. I gotta fill in with bait now. I got so sidetracked. I was supposed to be making the outer circle. And I'm over here making a massive fish farm in a location that I'm gonna have to pick up anyways. Because it's underneath our base. So with my brand new maximum efficiency fish farm working away and my friend Ho back out looting the seven seas, I put myself back to the task of building yet another circle around the original one. So that way we could have a donut-like landmass full of our farms and other structures. This place was going to look gorgeous. Ooh, wandering trader. Hey, man. I, I can't actually get to you. Oh, he's got spruce saplings. Yo, Ooh. he's got spruce and acacia saplings. This is not a drill. But now we have access to infinite spruce. I'll grab nice. six spruce and then I'll grab some acacias too. I mean, I don't really care about acacia, but access to wood is access to wood. Finally, after an unholy amount of time, the full circle is done. Oh, it's beautiful. So we got this main circle in here. And then we got this big circle out here. And uh, now I have to go ahead and build an additional circle out here. And then fill this all in. Which I don't Ew. think will be as bad. I just need to not, not screw that up. But yeah. Let's go check on... <laughs> let's go take one final check for the hour. On our... Our uh, fishing things. To see what kind of loot we got in here. We have a lot more like messages in the bottle. Protection 3... Wow, these, there's a lot of saddles in these. Depth Strider 3, that's hype. Efficiency 3, that's good. More crazy good bows. I have a friend who's visiting me. Come here. Come on. Drop me some, uh, no? Okay, fine. We have a uh, protection 4. You have a protect. Oh, I just took it out, which means I can't put it back in. So I got this other book. Depth Strider 3, Protection 4. With Punch 2 and Efficiency 3, kind of sad I can't use all those, but I can put those on my boots for Protection 4, Depth Strider 3. Then we got another Protection 4, Sharpness 4. We technically don't even need Villagers. I do still want to get Villagers for mad trading, though. I want but experience, honestly. That That's going to be one of the best things. And what we could do is we could actually get their trades down to one-for-one one sticks. We get a whole bunch of Fletchers, turn the Bamboo Farm into a fully automated one, and we will print money like so Ooh. much money now that we had the center of our landmass and the first inner circle that would mark the outside circle i set out to build an even larger circle around it so that way we could make our outer ring of land and um this thing took a while this circle was 180 by 180 blocks wide after this our final outer circle had been completed and we set out to begin filling it. And, um, you know how I always mention how I just make bases too big in these worlds? Well, I may have made it too big again. This was going to need a lot of dirt. And we spent the next three hours straight just digging lots of dirt and placing even more. I ended up making a new shovel because the first one was about to break and I went to the Twilight Dimension to go and mine tons of dirt while Ho spent his time filling in more of the inside of the platform. During this process, I ended up almost breaking the second shovel and then we had to figure out a good quick way to get XP and that's when I began scouring our fishing nets and these things were full to the brim of sweet, sweet loot. We decided that we weren't really going to need the fishing rods since we had these fishing nets, so I began taking all of the enchanted fishing rods out of them, and I began one by one disenchanting them for dank XP. And little did I know, there was a lot of XP to be had here, because I ended up getting 31 levels after just two inventories of fishing rods. These fishers were absolutely goaded, and we continued filling in the platform until it was finally finished. Four grueling hours later. The center area needs to become like a real house. Cause it's kind of a dump right now. But first, we should check on the fishing traps because they, these boys have been producing. There's so much stuff in here. I'm not gonna grab everything out. This is gonna take forever. 
I'm looking for Soak Touch because we need stone. We could find like a Soak Touch book again. Dude, protection three, protection three, efficiency three. I mean, I'll take that for the potential Soak Touch book. Sharpness, no. So we kind of got a little too overly ambitious with uh, these things. They're amazing, but they're so difficult to clean out. <laughs> There are so many- I mean, I don't even know what to do with a lot of this stuff. So now that our island was fully built out, we were prepared to start making ourselves a home in the center. After making my godly Silk Touch pickaxe that I named Gear 5, I built a nice little stone farm that I could AFK at to get lots of stone for stone bricks, because for some reason, this world does not have stone underground. It's all just deep slate. Whatever 1.16.5 Caves and Cliffs mod we were using was just deep slate. Anyways, while I was doing this, Ho was over here gathering as much spruce wood as he humanly could, so that way we could begin building the house. Alright, Ho, I have built us a first bridge. It took me a lot longer than it should have, but we Ooh. now have a bridge to take us across Ooh. to the first section. It's just kind of like a cozy little, uh, it's a cozy little bridge. And we can Ooh. start working on the house in the center. So, while you were getting lots of wood, I got, what? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Uh, what, around like 40, around like 50 stacks of stone, something like that. I don't like doing the math. Wow. Lazy. Okay. So now that we have all that, we could actually work on a house in the middle, but that means <gasps> we have to like clear up everything. I don't know what kind of house we can build yet. I kind of had some ideas, but we can actually mm -hmm. make storage and be happy with our lives. But first, I have to murder all of the bamboos. It has gotten no, way China out of 2. hand. No, China 2.0. It's gotten way out of hand. And my inventory is so full. And all of the chests are full. Everything is full. So now that we had an abundance of wooden stone and a platform to build on, it was finally time to start clearing the middle area to build ourselves a house. We started off by clearing out all of the bamboo and the farms. And once Ho got back from a quick trip of looting, we began filling in all the floors that were not dirt with grass blocks. Once we finally had all this area filled in, it was now time to start building. Only problem is I didn't really know what we wanted to build here yet, so this process actually ended up taking quite a bit of time. Okay, so we made, we made okay progress. We got like this area kind of clear. I'm thinking we can build the base like back towards this side. So maybe like this would be around where the front entrance of the base would be. I want it to be kind of large, but also not too large okay so good idea that we had mm. we could try to get warped wood for like a kind of mm -hmm. green aesthetic so my idea was maybe like warped wood blackstone which is both in the nether and then maybe some kind of like prismarine which i don't know about prismarine necessarily because i think ooh, what is this prismarine coral stone there's no crafting recipe for it Elder Prismarine Coral Stone? See, we'd have to get, like, Guardians. We'd have to mess with Guardians, which I'm not really trying to do. I'm gonna give myself a bunch of Protection 4 before going to the Nether. Hmm. I'm also gonna give myself Feather Falling 4 just in case it is the Nether. After scouring our fish traps for crazy enchantments and piecing them together to make the ultimate protection armor that we could, Ho and I were now ready to go into the nether to find the blocks we were looking for. While in there, we were looking for two things. We wanted one, black stone that we could use to make our house look nicer, and two, we wanted to find a warped forest that we could use to one, farm for endermen, and two, get that beautiful green wood to make our roof of our house. Overall, we were trying something different here, so I'm not quite sure how it was gonna go, but with the idea fresh in our heads, we set off to do just that. We kept on exploring around every nook and cranny of this nether fortress, and it was kind of just trash. Along the way, we killed a bunch of wither skeletons in the hopes of getting some wither skulls, but also no luck. I shot a bunch of gas out of the sky, and every time we saw any piglin boys nearby, we also took them to dinner. Overall though, this place was highly disappointing, and we did not come out of here with any nether wart, meaning that we now had to find an additional nether fortress. Things were not quite going that well for us, but hey, 
we did end up finding a couple of veins of blackstone. So, you know what? I guess in the end, it kind of works out. Hey, look, it's not all bad. Look, look, you got a it's wither skull. Hey, oh, shoot. nice. Spooky, scary skeleton. Let's go. See, looting three was worth it. Uh, we got a bunch of blackstone and I guess for now we can just leave this since there's not much blackstone left. I guess let's go over to the workforce and hunt for some endermen because mm. then we can just make ourselves a, uh, waypoint. Like, we can make like waystones. Yeah. And once we have waystones, we can use those waystones to teleport around easier. We can even just like place one on a area that has a lot of blackstone and then just come back to it in the future. There is, wait, 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 wait. Are there three Hold nether on. fortresses here? Uh, okay, so if we build across right here in this very highly dangerous area to that spot over there, we could easily get to the to that fortress. Oh man, it's across all of this crimson cringe. That's uh, what this biome should be called, crimson cringe biome. I'm gonna call it that for now on. This place sucks too! What is this? Okay, over here, these like double layer areas, these are gonna be where we find the stairwells. Ignore right. the blaze spawner, we don't need that. This is going to be a drop off. Yikes. This is awful. Not even any chests. What is this place? Oh, there we go. Bingo. Oh, beautiful. Honestly, this is all we need. We don't even need to be here now. We can go to that warp forest. Oh, shoot. Uh, well, there's a skeleton. Where are you? Uh, right behind you. Thank you. He really wanted you. <laughs> he wanted your cheeks. Only me. This is fine. Um, most delectable cheeks around. You know what I mean? True. Don't say true like that. All right. Oh, well, sorry, now that we have this, honestly, I mean, we could explore the rest of this for some chests and stuff. This one really sucks, though. I'm kind of. Nah, we don't- there's more stuff. There's more loot, I mean, in the surface world. Like, we can get more loot out of ships than we can get out of this place. These chests are not that great. I'd rather just go back to the warp forest. So that way we All can right, start farming some endermen. After our journey back from the nether fortress, once we made our way into the warp forest, since I didn't have a good diamond axe, but Ho did, he got straight to mining every single tree in sight so that way we can get that beautiful green effect for our roof. While he was doing that, I was out and about fighting any and all endermen I could find, so that way we could get ender pearls to both go to the end, and more importantly for now, to make waystones to fast travel around the world. Especially if it being an ocean only world, waystones would provide countless benefits for us to quickly travel anywhere and everywhere. All right, this place looks awful it's so empty we gotta start filling it up i got blackstone i got tons of nether quartz lots of gold to cook dude so that's one stack of nether gold two stacks of nether gold i need more coal i'm stealing it from this because i'm lazy and then i got stuff in the backpack as well i've got all right three, i'm coming back now three and a half stacks of nether gold so i'm Yeet. making one two warped stones I'm just throwing those on the ground because I don't have inventory. <laughs> My inventory is right. decimated. Uh, and then I need obsidian that I grabbed, and I need stone bricks that conveniently we can now make. Oh, uh, do you want me to hand you my stone or no? That'd be so much easier, yeah. Yeah. Big Here's McBankies uh, from McSpankies. I need to watch that show again. Dude, I watched Jimmy Neutron back before they took mm -hmm. it off um, HBO because HBO yeah. is cringe. And it was really good. I, I didn't expect it to have aged poorly. I knew it was going to be good still. Even the mm -hmm. CGI, like the CGI, don't get me wrong, it's off-putting, right? It's like that weird CGI, but it's... Yeah. I didn't regret watching it. It didn't hurt to watch it. I didn't look at it and go, ugh. Like, not once. It was ahead of its time, honestly. CGI-wise, I don't know about that. It, it's kind of, yeah. like, terribly ugly. At this point, I know we haven't started building the base yet, but honestly... If we go to the end dimension, then we can at least fight the dragon, get some more dank XP, and have another ending supply of ender pearls that we could use to make even more waystones to make our lives even easier. So for the end of these hours, we just finished preparation of our armor, making sure we had mending on everything that we could get it on, and farming dank resources from our fishing supply. Honestly, 
I did not think those fishing things were going to be as powerful as they were, but with them alongside the rest of our resources, we could now become literal gods. We had plenty of XP and we had plenty of good enchantments. All right, so before we go to the end, we pretty much got everything. We went mining, we got lots of resources. I'm going to put this other pickaxe with fortune three, efficiency five, give it on breaking. We don't have mending. But now we have a fortune pickaxe, which means all of this dank loot that we got from mining, we can actually turn into stuff. Let's see how many diamonds we get. How many how many diamonds do you think we're going to get from this hoe? Uh, my estimation is possibly 70. No, too high. Damn. Uh, back up a bit. I'm going to guess 40. Pretty That's, nice. I think, kind of high as well. Oh. Oh. Oh my god, wait. 45. Oh, shoot. <laughs> yeah, 45, dude. Yo, we okay. being chilling now. Let's go. So, after we go to the end, we need to get you some diamond stuff. We need to get you some pickaxes. Because now, I've got, like, almost... I've got a god tier silk touch. And almost a god tier fortune. And we are pretty much ready to go to the end now we just gotta do a couple of like uh potions we're gonna get some potions together uh we're gonna get some ender pearls buckets of water pretty much everything you need for the ender dragon fight and we are good to go it's safe to say we've got we got resources that's the wrong chest we got resources we got like 56 stacks of gold i'm cooking more 56 that's funny how they're the same amount stacks of iron we got tons wow. of coal lapis redstone i've got nether quartz I've got even more on my like in my inventory and even more cooking and now we have enough XP to actually I could enchant something if I wanted to um and you need to, we need to get you some more stuff you need to get you more gear and then Ho went ahead and crafted our potions of slow falling for the dragon fight so we've got potions we can grab ender pearls we're gonna have water buckets and we're pretty much good our armor and our weapons are good. So all we gotta do is travel to the stronghold and we can make a waystone. I've got stuff in my backpack for waystones. We're good to go, man. We are Gucci good. To the end portal. <laughs> Wait, what's that uh what's that sea shanty from Assassin's Creed Black Flag? Uh way up she rises way. Wait. I remember that one. That's one of them. Yeah. <laughs> There's a couple of others. What are the Wait, I got this. I thought I heard the old man say, Leave her, Johnny, leave her. I don't, I forgot, the, I forgot the rhythm. Tomorrow you will get your pay, and it's time for us to leave her. Leave her, Johnny, leave her. I forgot how the rhythm goes. No. I'm gonna be honest, I kind of got that from Doug uh, If I break in oh. right here, this should be it. I broke in over here so the water would, like, put out the... Oh, look at that. It went straight into the... That's funny. Okay, I am going to put out this though, in case any server lag kind of tries to smack us. Should I place Be a waystone here so we have axe? No, I'll just place it in the end, right? That's. Yeah, oh, I know that costs more XP though. All right, and how many of these do we need? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Wow, what a giving portal, am I right? What a yeah. very great portal. I've never seen. This is the best odds I've seen all of Minecraft. Bing, bing, so generous. Bing, bong, bong, bing, 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 bong. Boom. Man, we're we're good, man. We're good to go. You want me I to record too or no? Anxious about. If you want, uh, yeah. It broke. What broke? Oh. Oh, okay. Never mind. It I was can't just like for you. Okay, we got we got lucky. We got the inside one. Uh, I don't know which oh. way is the. Okay, it's this way. I can just use the map my massive big brain so that yeah you could nice. you could see all the shots that i make indefinitely because i'm perfect and never miss any shots in minecraft ever don't yep. you dare show any shots me missing by the way and uh you can show all the shots that ho doesn't make wait what huh that's one one miss shot oh. for you one hit shot for me and oh, somebody pissed off an enderman was it me um Apparently. i didn't do anything the dragon is going to try to cuck me right now uh -huh. Okay, oh my uh, god! Are we starting this? Hi. Dude, oh the god. dragon! Can you get rid of this guy? Yeah, okay. The dragon, like. Oh my god, go away. 
This is what I get for being cocky. Honestly, this is kind of deserved. I somehow looked at him, and then the dragon uh, shot his gooey- shot her gooey magic all over me. Oh, this- oh, the highest pillar too, go figure. I I'm not it's sure. the dragon. Oh, oh, oh shoot, oh shoot, oh shoot. If she shoots the Enderman, they aggro. Okay, she's, uh, perching. I pissed one Enderman off, give me a sec. Um, she's glitching. I can't hit her. Oh, she's glitching for you, so. That's not like a hitbox issue. I, I legit just can't hit her. My arrows are not hitting her. You can't shoot her when she's on the ground. You have to oh. use swords. Bro, is she broken? She's She should Please. have unperched by now. Are you kidding me? Uh. Really? Really? Oh, God. Yeah, if you... Okay, that unperched her, though. She unperched. Uh... Hi. The what? How? Ho? Oh, how? Are you kidding me? You had like three things to prevent that in your hot bar. <laughs> it's okay. If I if I kill her, then I'll suck your life essence back, and you will come back to life. Okay. <laughs> I will bring you back to life using <laughs> the life essence of the Ender Dragon. I am kind of upset at you that I made you go through all those like extra steps to be as absolute. As, like, absolutely prepared as possible. She's really laggy right now. It's hard to hit her. <laughs> yeah, right. Here I am. B-roll footage time, baby. Live in action. This is the best fight I have ever done against the dragon. I can honestly say that. I can't hit her. It's not because of my, my aim is bad. It's because the game, of course. She's literally dead. Thank you. Nice. And with that death, I have siphoned the life force out of her body and given it back to my friend. That's why he's alive. Don't ask. And with that dragon egg, he was reborn. Yay, I'm alive again. I'm so glad that you're back now. I am level 69 almost. Oh, wow. Okay. It always ends up being level 69. I feel like that's on purpose. So I do have a bunch of your stuff. Um... I was going to say up. we should go and find an end city, but, like, do you still want to do that? Like, I'm I think down. We should, I think we should do that. Uh, we're going to do oh. this the extra safe way, because I don't mess with this stuff. I've had too many instances where my ender pearls almost get me killed. Because if you throw one gotcha. to the portal, it'll land wherever it lands. So if it hits the edge of, like, a landmass, you just die. Mm -hmm. You fall and die. This is the most efficient way to go inside one of these. You know what you do? You place this. You open it. You shut it. You crawl inside. Ooh. Ah. Okay. I can, I can deal with this. This is, uh... Oh, end city! Let's go, end city! Already? Please be an ender ship. Wait, oh, yeah, we have the map. I don't see a ship yet, but... We are close. Aww. Uh, there is... Oh, it's a big one, so there's gonna be dank loot in here. There is a ship. There is a ship, so we got one Elytra. Ooh. Let's go! Perfect, perfect. By the time we were finished looting all of this first end city, we had gotten some pretty mediocre diamond loot, including these crazy protection four and breaking three mending diamond leggings with curse of binding. Honestly, kind of tempting to wear them if I never wanted to make them into netherite. But anyways, once we finally got our elytra, we were finished here and we were prepared to move on to the next location that we could see on our maps. The only thing was, there was nothing in sight. So, it was time to get exploring. So, I'm going to mark this node. I'm just going to call it end node on the map. I'll make it red, I guess. Whatever. But there is another end city up here. So Oh, there it is. Dude, this I is see. like the best. If we didn't have a map, this would be easy. Like, literally, we don't even need the map mod for this. But, like, anytime I don't have a map and I'm in a regular world, I never find this many end, like... Dude, there's not even, Beautiful. we don't even have to walk, or I'm, oh, okay, we don't even have to, like, traverse across anything, we can just walk <laughs> there. Is there another end ship? Uh, uh, yes, there is, Elytra number two, baby! That is extremely easy, wait, what? This is what? the quickest and most efficient wait, journey. That ship is so close to the ground, too, wait, nah, what? The, nah, it's fine, nah. Wait, am I going crazy? Or yes, actually. Oh, Anything okay. can be an entrance if you try hard enough. 
Abraham Lincoln. Any... <laughs> no, 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 stop, stop, stop. Not trying to deal with this, nope. Aha, you so fool. So that's what his first goal was. Oh. Hmm? I was trying not to get hit by some Shulker C, but... And he teleported, what a jerk. You know what? I'm just gonna go in here and steal all your valuables. Screw you guys. Oh, he teleported inside the boat. Yo! Six diamonds. Projectile protection four and breaking three leggies. Uh, fire aspect two diamond sword. Efficiency three. I'm breaking three diamond pickaxe with curse of vanishing. That's... Wow, we have gotten terrible luck for enchantments. Yeah, elytra number two. We now both have an elytra that we can use. And we actually have access to fireworks. We just need a sugarcane farm. We're doing, uh, we're doing pretty good, man. All right, so now that we are home, it is time to finally build. We took a while to um, get building. So I, I worked on this kind of bridge thing. So well, we worked on this bridge thing. So my friend Ho went Ooh. around and finished this entire section of one part of stone. And this is like, it's kind of finished touch, I guess. So we got like this nice like warped wood mix. I'm trying to like keep the ocean vibes and mix it in with this bridge. And it, it, it actually works. It works pretty well, actually. So, what do, you, what do you think, good sir? You like it? I'm just scared that we're going to need to replicate it. He says it's ugly. He says it's ugly. <laughs> uh, but this is like, this is just a beginning kind of thing, obviously. I'm thinking about replacing pieces with like mossy stuff down the road. It, if and when we do 50 hours, huh? 50 hours mm -hmm, in the comments. Mm -hmm. 10,000 likes, huh? Um... And then I want to, obviously we're going to put more walls, but we need to build a house before we worry about walls and farms and stuff. Because we've been living like this. We're like, we're like the, the meme. You live like this. Wait, do you want me to construct the bridges? If not, oh, yeah, then yeah, you, I... Okay, so yeah, you work on the bridges. So you're going to build the bridges. I'm going to make a diamond hoe, apparently. Go back to the nether to try to get... What is it even called? It's like warped something. I don't even... What's this stuff called? Warped wort block. That we're gonna use for like the roofs and stuff. I'm gonna call it diamonds and hose. <laughs> diamonds and hose. It's God. okay, it's not as bad. The normally when I name my uh my hose, is, I name them your mother. Alright, all good to go. Actually, wait, I should make another uh thing while I'm at it. Hmm? I should make another waystone. It's all part of the plan. Boom, waystone. Now we can go back to the warped forest whenever we want. Hey! Time to go back to the end, my favorite place. Gosh, golly gee, uh, it's the nether. I love, I, I love the nether so much. So now that I had a waystone, I placed this bad boy in the nearby warped forest, and I went to town collecting as much of the resources that I could get for our future buildings. I sat in here getting a couple of stacks of warped fungus until I was pretty much ready to go back and begin building our house. While I was doing this, friend Ho was working on the bridges that would lead us to each of the individual parts of the circle. The idea behind this was we were going to start adding massive farms around every single edge. We wanted to add like sugarcane, carrots, wheat, whatever, but honestly, we kind of ended up building it a lot bigger than we needed, so... For the time being, most of it's five. probably going to remain empty. At this point, now that we had tons of resources, we had taken down the Ender Dragon, and we had cleared out our island and laid out all of the land, it was finally time to build a house. And let me tell you, this process was massive. We spent three hours straight collecting different resources and piecing together the ultimate base. For this, I decided to use a lot of blackstone along with warped forest blocks because they look fantastic and they have this kind of ocean vibe that we were going for. While I was beginning to work on the overall perimeter of the house and laying out the structure, I was working hard at adding an inside wall perimeter to the rest of the inner circle around our island. While he was still doing that and I had finished the perimeter, I began working on the roof. And honestly, this part took a lot more planning than I kind of expected it to, but while I was building it, things were going very smoothly and it was looking fantastic. I decided to use the green warp blocks along with stripped warped wood to make this amazing kind of gradient effect on the top. And then I spent the rest of the remaining time filling in the walls, including some cyan glass that added an extra 
touch. By the time it was the end of Hour 22, our island had truly blossomed. It was now time to start moving into our base and transforming this island into a real paradise, along with some real farms, because, um, we kind of got rid of all the farms. It's looking good, man. It's looking really good. We put so much effort into this. So Ho's been working hard, and he has continued this design around the entire... The entire island. Look at this bad boy. Look at it. It's beautiful. So we've got four bridges. My man worked very hard on his bridges. We've got this along the entire thing. Oh, okay, torch. <laughs> we've, oh. we've got uh, all of our lanterns now that look nice and add light to the place so it's safe. And we've got the main structure of our house. We haven't put anything in there yet, which means that is what we're going to be doing now. But it is looking good inside. And this is our house. It looks beautiful. We worked hard on it. We have cool support <laughs> systems in here now with lighting. And we're kind of deciding what to do in here. We're going to have like a cooking area. We're going to have like chest storage. I originally wanted this to be like a big chest storage area, but it's kind of mm -hmm. small. Now I was thinking about we could just do like one wall here that goes up and then one wall over there that also goes up. And it'll just be like a like a separated storage, which will be okay. It won't be a big deal. And then we could do like a bunch of cooking areas and other whatever stuff in here. And then out here, we have a lot of stuff planned. So we can start doing like more paths, like a path that comes from here, goes to here. And then it will come right here and go over into this little like, we'll have like, um, you know in Arlcraft, how those like waystones spawn in like the square structures? We can make like one of those, right? But like nice. And then I, I guess we also have this portal that we could just keep incorporated into the, the design because it's just kind of here. With the newfound plans that we made, I immediately got to collecting all of the driftwood around our camp and crafting as many chests as I could to begin placing out our chest walls. The idea here is that we could have just enough organization to fit as many items as we could and we could stop struggling our way through finding stuff in the piles of chests that we had sitting outside around the front of the house. While I was doing this, my friend Ho, unfortunately, was, um, not having the best time. His internet connection kept dying, and the server kept kicking him almost every, like, minute. This man disconnected over and over again while trying to use a ship in the middle of the ocean, which is not a good sign, especially not in hardcore Minecraft. So, things were not going that well, but even so, I still continued back at the base making our house into a home. So at this point, my uh, my pal Ho has entirely lagged out of both Discord and the server. So while he's, you know, trying to get his stuff together, trying to figure out what's going on with his internet, I have been working away at this uh, these organization walls. So over here we have like our, our rare resources, like diamonds, emerald, gold, blah, blah, blah. We have a shulker chest, we have one for each armor, we have, uh, this is just gonna be tools. Normally I do an individual chest for all tools, but kind of a waste, to be honest. Uh, and then this is gonna be for shulkers. And then I'm gonna continue filling in this side. And then all of this side. And then I was probably gonna make over here, like, a cool little kitchen area. I can put, like, a wall right here, and have, like, some auto cookers. So that way we have, like, a kitchen. And then we'll figure out what to do with a lot of the other parts of the base. But first, I had this great idea. So the Twilight Forest has these massive trees, right? And they're really pretty. They're called canopy trees. And I was thinking, what if I, like, we could place some of them as our ambience for this island, right? Because they're, they're huge. If this if this ends up not looking nice, it is going to suck to get rid of it. I, I think one sapling works. Whoa! Yeah! All right, so we have a little cooking area now, which is pretty nice. It's, I don't really like the, t oh, my backpacks are full of crap. I'm not cleaning these out. I'm just looking for the ender chest, which we technically we don't even, where days. did it go? I, I had an ender chest. I didn't see it while sorting all the stuff out there either. And I sorted every single, what? Where would it have gone? On there. On there. There's no other chests. <laughs> wait, wait. It might be over here. There it is. Okay. 
we barely even need the ender chest because of our backpacks anyways. Backpacks are just like better shulkers. But I mean, I'm still going to place it in the house. Because why not? Boom, right there. So we have our cooking area. We can finally cook stuff. We can cook like regular stuff in there. Glass, whatever. We have two blast furnaces and one for... What was that? Mm. Oh. And one for... <laughs> There's a slime in here. One for... Uh, <laughs> Food! Food! That's the word. Food. Place is kind of coming together. I was thinking over here we can make like a little like enchantment area. Or not enchantment. Um, We can make a nice area for like potions and stuff. At this point in the world, we were down to our final hour. Hour 24. And to be honest, we were kind of feeling it. Per usual, I uh, may have had a larger scope for the overall build than we could manage in the amount of time that we had. So, we had put all this effort into making this massive ring around our main island, and we had not built a single farm on it yet. In fact, we were still trying to finish the central island to make it look nice and have a lot of resources inside of it that we could use to do things with. So, it was now basically crunch time. I spent a bunch of the beginning of this hour down underneath our island collecting all of the crap that had stored up in the fishing traps because we were finally going to move them after dumping the immense loads of garbage into the ocean just as every country in the world does. I then fished out all of the good objects such as enchanted books and enchanted items that I use for XP. I got lots of fish bones for bone meal. I got lily pads that we could use for future sugarcane farms if we ever got to it, such as these treasure chests that actually ended up giving me diamonds, emeralds, gold, and even iron. By the time I was done cleaning them all out, I picked all of the fishing traps up and finally covered over the area one last time for us to never go back. Anyways, while I was doing this, my friend Ho had begun building the path system to our island because we were going to need different paths that we could use to get around the different central areas. While he was doing this, now that I was done with the fishing traps, I originally had the idea of moving them over to a different part of the island to make a fishing trap farm. But since we were really tight on time, instead, I began helping him build different paths. Overall, for the design, I wanted to have a bunch of different arcing paths that would go around the base and over to all of the different bridges. This way, it would both look nice and be highly functional. In between all of those paths, we then wanted to add tons of bits of nature. You know, just bushes, trees, all kinds of plants to make the place look nice. I wanted the central island to feel like a complete home oasis. Oh, and uh, not to mention our villagers, they, um, yeah, they exist. Uh, I rode them into the, into the house where they will probably sit for a while. If we ever do 50 hours of this video, then we can always make a villager trading hall by breeding these guys. But um, for now, they're just kind of stuck. At this point, things were really wrapping up on the island. Being the last hour that we had to work on this place, we got to work. And I mean, got to work. We built a beautiful waystone pillar that just looks so good. I ended up finding some nice amethyst and calcite that we used for accents to really bring it all together with the blackstone look. After this, we made ourselves an enchantment setup that was way better than the one before. We actually ended up making it kind of like this little indent in the ground, so that way you can walk down inside and it just feels mystical while you're enchanting your gear. As if we um, needed to enchant any more gear, but even with that being the case, it still looked gorgeous. After this, I ended up moving the nether portal over to this spot over here by the bridge where it was a lot less in the way and I could really deck this thing out. This boy was looking amazing. I put so much work into this, including the use of a lot of canopy leaves that I ended up getting from the Twilight Zone. At this point in time, unfortunately, my friend Ho had to say goodbye because he had some real life stuff going on and the time frame was kind of off. So for the final quarter of the last hour, I spent this time adding the finishing touches around the base. I added some extra paths that led to each of the individual structures that we built, and I went around planting different trees, including the massive canopy trees, because they're gorgeous. Like, these trees are so nice. Not to mention, they end up spawning so high up that you don't even have to worry about them actually getting in the way of your builds or blocking anything. 
They just look nice, they're tall, they add an extra dimension and more depth, and they are mwah, chef's kiss, 10 out of 10 trees. Besides this, I planted spruce and a couple of random other saplings I had, like my one jungle sapling, and some birch trees, just to really flesh out this area to make it appear more full and just intertwined with nature. Since after all, we were in the middle of the ocean, I did want this island to be nature-y. Now that we had all the trees, I ran around the island planting tons of the purple and blue pricklewood plants that we had because they look really nice. Also, side note, these things are incredible. You could use them to MLG easier than a water bucket. I don't think I was actually recording me doing that, but just, just picture it in your head. Like, god gamer that I am. But anyways, after those were placed, I then used bone mill to fill in all the areas with a bunch of flowers and additional grass. In this place, was looking stunning. I ended up getting my elytra after fixing my pants that were about to break, and I took this bad boy for a fly around to see all of our work pay off. And I really wish Ho was here for this because the island turned out amazing. This place was so, so nice. We finally had ourselves a home. So there you have it, joined together with my friend Ho, we survived for 24 full hours in this barren ocean wasteland. And this video was fun. Doing this was incredibly fun and admittedly kind of difficult for me to manage. Normally when I do these videos, I can control the pacing pretty well. However, when they have a friend here and when we're on a server, it's a little more difficult. Also, when the server, um, I don't know, magically restarts when I don't know and is running for a whole week and makes it so it's almost day 1000 in the world. Doesn't really affect anything since we didn't have any chunks loaded, but yeah, that didn't really make things easy. Also, I do plan on possibly coming back to this world for 50 hours, but I'm not sure if it will be with him. The world is incredible. I love the build that we did and there's so much more we could explore. Not to mention the fact that uh, we built this massive outer ring of the island that uh, we didn't use a single bit. On this entire thing, all we placed was a singular stone farm. So yeah, if you do want to see 50 hours, go ahead and drop a like down below. Let me know what you think about it and what you thought about the pacing of this video, because like I said, it was a little difficult. And shout out to my editor for working very hard to make the pacing work, because he is an amazing person and one last shout out to all of my patreons thank you all for watching the video and thank you everyone else for getting this far if you did watch the video you're amazing and honestly i couldn't do this without you anyways this has been pain nomination and i will see you all in the next video peace